Right. There was a Senate staffer um, who was engaged in some pretty crazy conduct. It's my old friend, uh, Henry Roger, reports this story. Uh, this is definitely not safe for work, though, for everybody who's watching. Uh, Senate staffer <laughs> has been caught else. filming a graphic gay sex tape in a Senate hearing room, posing both in amateur pornography images that he distributed on Instagram and amongst a group chat of fellow gay staffers on Capitol Hill, in addition to posting video of himself engaged um, in a gay sexual act uh, while he was uh, while he was in the Senate hearing room. Now, this hearing room is the Senate Judiciary Room, of which he actually worked for Senator Ben Cardin and had access to this room as a high-level staffer, largely because uh, this is open um, f previously to things like Sonia Sotomayor's hearing room, uh, the James Comey testimony, and it's also one that he, uh, he posted about uh, on his private Instagram. So anyway, this was, yeah, I was telling uh, our editorial team, the number of people uh, who have sent me a gay pornography of this gentleman, but please stop, um, because <laughs> my phone it. is now full you of gay it. porn of this man. And I don't want to see this man's ass ever again. Uh, I've seen so much of it now at this point. Just And largely it was people who worked with him on Capitol Hill and they were like, you got to put this out there. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, this, enough has been done at this point. What I find personally humorous is uh, this gentleman's defense of himself. Let's put this up there on the screen. Uh, his name is Aiden. I'm going to go with Mace Krozepski. Anyway, here's what he says uh, on LinkedIn, which is also amazing. That's right. This has been a difficult time for me as I have been attacked for who I love uh, to pursue a political agenda. Uh, right. <laughs> Uh, while some of my actions in the past have shown poor judgment, some, I love my job, would never disrespect my workplace. Any attempts to characterize my actions otherwise are fabricated, and I will be exploring what legal options are available to me in these matters. As for accusations regarding Congressman Max Miller, I have never seen the congressman had no opportunity to cause yell or confront. I don't even this know was, about that. Do so there was a, a dual controversy. So the other part of the controversy was that Aiden, the staffer, was a staffer who yelled at a congressman, Free Palestine, who was a pro-Israel congressman. He, they had named him anonymously, but nobody knows it was actually him. Max Miller, has, um, Max Miller has not confirmed that it was him. At this point, I have no idea. I mean, he rejects it. Nobody else seems to have any information to the contrary. Well, we certainly do have information uh, to is how this uh, gentleman uh, was uh, conducting himself very openly. What I find astounding about this guy is that this was not a single incident. As I said, I've got plenty of examples uh, right here that have been going on for months. And it was out in the open. I mean, posting on his Instagram and even sharing like with dozens of fellow Capitol Hill um, Capitol Hill staffers. But other about, things happening on the Capitol or? Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, I've got some photos here on so this my was, phone. This was not this the guy. first time. I mean, let's, the funniest one, I'm just going to say, I, I, there's no allegation behind this, is him in the Senate, I could literally have it here, is of him in his Senate, uh, in the Senate shower, being like in the work shower waiting for you, Lindsey Graham, which is um, That's kind of pretty funny. wild. Uh, <laughs> there's a couple others that I have obtained um, which show him like with, members of Congress, like, staring at his fingers, being like, I want to lick his luscious fingers when the guy... I'm, I, I swear, this is all real. Um, this is in the workplace. I, I don't personally care about anything he's doing in his personal life, yeah. although there's some wild photos from that, too. Uh, just the ones that I'm willing to talk about here are on the Capitol, you know, uh, posting a lot of stuff, and actually, apparently was told, Crystal, behind the scenes, bro, you need to calm down after he was... Uh, uh, after he was promoted in Senator Card's office because his social media was like a widespread, like a known thing amongst a lot of his coworkers. Uh, NBC News, this so putting wild. this out here. Let's put this up there. This so uh, also, their headline is so ridiculous. Put this up there. <laughs> Senate staffer alleged by concern. Yeah, it's not alleged, okay? We've got the video. To have had sex in a hearing room is no longer employed. So Senator <laughs> Cardin's uh, office just says this. Aiden is no longer employed by <clears throat> the U.S. Senate after the Daily Caller published it. Just ludicrous that they wouldn't be able to just confirm it. And last but not least here, Madison Cawthorn, who once alleged uh, coke-fueled orgies happening on Capitol Hill, tweets this out, quote, I told you. And look, he was right. He was certainly right. God, so that's where, that's where we're at. That's he where we're at. He could have named names, um, Madison. Why didn't you drop a name? He should have named more names. Uh, 
Yeah, that's all I got. This, this, George, this. George just Sanders so everyone knows. Yeah, too. George, George. Of course, he's he's weighed in. He went after. He's like, you're not being fired because you're gay. He's like, you're fired because you fucked somebody in a <laughs> set a hearing room and you put it out on social media, that is, which is uh, certainly something. Yeah. Also, from what I understand, Crystal, yeah. just last thing, <clears throat> uh, the alleged top is actually a former employee of the German government. So there's there's even an international spy angle. Oh, going great, on here. great. I, right. In some ways, the wildest part to me is the statement he put. Yeah, out. I think so. I think you're right. Where Who he's I like. Love. People are attacking me for who I love. It's like, no, they're not. Dude, yeah, come no, on. I mean, yeah. yeah, if it was if it was heterosexual sex, I'm he pretty sure too, people would also right. care yeah. about this. It's and insane. If it was a woman, right. I mean, do you can you imagine the level of mm. like sl slut shaming perhaps appropriately <laughs> so that yes. would go on if this was so put the identity piece aside. Right. Um yeah. I there were a lot of jokes being made about like this is probably the most wholesome uh, thing that's happened in the Senate hearing room in so, in some time, or like at least someone's deriving some joy from the things that are happening <laughs> in the Senate hearing room. So, I guess I there is a bit of a point there, but I don't know. It's just when I see characters like this, you know, it, it, like the George Santos of, of the world, where he's just so brazen in mm -hmm. his lies and just over and over, like you're so brazen with this. I can't wrap my head around it. It's that's the part of it to me that's fascinating and. Interesting. Yeah. Call me a boomer. I don't know, really know why you have to talk about your sex life period with all your coworkers. And look, oh, if you want to post it on your social media, I mean, that's fine. But like, look, I don't think people understand this too. When you're young, he's what, like 24, 25, something know. like that. He's something like that on Capitol Hill. It's a social network. You all go out drinking together. Like everybody knows each other yeah. and all of this. And this was a well-known secret, apparently amongst all of his coworkers, such that his bosses had to talk to him whenever he got promoted. And they're like, you need to tone down some of the stuff you're po like, for example, talking about how you want to lick the fingers of a fellow congressman, which is crazy. Yeah, in a, in <laughs> the, horrified by that. In the Senate cafeteria. <laughs> Literally in the Senate cafeteria, you know, the shower photos, all stuff. Also ran a Twitter account without his face blurred, purely of just like sexually suggestive, evocative photos that was open to the public up until this entire thing. So there's a there's an insane narcissism going on in the minds of uh, of this individual, and People I would just, just say, think, I don't. They just think. Do I don't know. Think? I, I, that I don't, this is never going to come out. That it's not, think, the rules are never going to apply to them. I think that uh, yeah, you get away with it once, and you're just like addicted to that thrill. I, I guess. think it's a culture of narcissism. Yeah, I think it's a culture of narcissism where they just think uh, you can use identity politics to shield yourself from any inevitable like criticism. And and the reality is, is that you're just engaging in like really disgusting behavior. I mean, it, it really almost seems from a like public perspective addictive behavior. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I honestly think there's something wrong with him. Like from, on a mental level. And not not having anything to do with his gay, just like this crazy amount of exhibitionism, and clearly like indulging in it and forcing your coworkers to, to well, sit there and have to, have to yeah, deal where with it's it. impacting your whole Literally, life. I mean, that's yeah. like the telltale sign of like right. some sort of addictive Addiction. issue. Right, is it's you know you're not able to confine it yeah. to the appropriate spaces yeah, in your so life. Look, uh, you know, honestly, I wish him the best. I hope he gets the help that he needs and all yeah. that. You hurry up, you learn from this, uh, and I hope every other Capitol Hill staffer, you guys should learn too. It will eventually come out if you're going to conduct yourself this way. Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber, and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right. We're subscriber funded. We're building something new. We want to replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.